my family is freezing outside because I kicked them out of the car because I needed to film for you guys. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I went up north uh, to my mother's house with the whole family to celebrate Mother's Day. And what we thought would be fun is go to this really big flea market. So I thought I would film the whole process and show you all the cool pieces that were there. You guys love when I take you along with me shopping or thrift shopping. And I thought this was a little bit different. The first place I went to was the flea market. And then actually there was another place my mom had mentioned to me that she went once with my sister. She told me, Katsu, you're gonna love this place. It's sort of an antique boutique I was so excited to see what I could find there so we went to that place too and I filmed it there for you so what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna show you the whole shopping process and then after I'm gonna go into the haul part and show you some of the goodies that I end up getting we're gonna jump right into this video enjoy <laughs> It is actually Mother's Day today. We thought we would get the whole family together outdoors. My mother actually lives up north. We heard about a little flea market that was starting today. We thought we would head there and see what cool treasures we can find. My whole family loves vintage shopping or thrift shopping and going to these cool little flea markets. We heard of this one and it is actually starting today so I'm not sure um, if there's going to be a lot of vendors but we thought we would still check it out anyway. I thought I would take you guys along with me. We're going to head there, go We'll see what we can find and yeah let's do this <laughs> super excited. I love flea markets. My favorite place. Thank you. 
for my first pieces, I'm going to start off with two pieces that I end up getting, but not at the flea market nor at the antique boutique. But I did want to show these to you because I am so happy I actually found these. It's too big. I can't hold the two pieces, but I'm going to insert clips. So the first piece is this beautiful vessel that I end up finding on Facebook Marketplace. So the two pieces are from Facebook Marketplace. The first one is this vessel and my jaw dropped. I was so in love with it. I put it there on my dining table. I'm revamping the whole dining area, so stay tuned for that, guys. I'm doing a video for you. I thought it looked perfect on the table with the other vase that I got. I'm so happy about this piece. I ended up paying it $50, which is amazing for a vessel that size. The only thing I'm gonna change a little bit is I find the color is just a little bit off of what the feel of the rest of the house. So I might just sort of repaint it or add a couple of, I don't know, I'm gonna do something just so it blends better with the rest of the house. But aside that, I just love the detailing. I love the shape. I love those hoops. There's four hoops all around it. I just think that it was such a unique and different piece. Moving on to my second piece that is also from Facebook Marketplace. It is this beautiful vase. It's pretty big. It's 17 inches long, 17 or 20 inches tall. I actually was even more surprised. I thought it was going to be smaller. But when I got there, it was even bigger. And you guys know I love my big and massive pieces. So I just fell in love with, first of all, the shape of it. I thought it was different. It resembled some sort of like little pumpkin or something. I just love the shape and the color and the sort of farmhouse look to it, uh, the worn out antique look. And I ended up paying this vase $25, which is so good. I could not be happier. So that was my two Facebook Marketplace pieces that I ended up finding. Now I'm going to move on to the whole flea market pieces that I got. I'm going to start off with the home decor. This was towards the end that I ended up getting this. My mom spotted this. I don't know how she spotted it, but her eyes were like zooming in on pieces for me. And she saw this piece. It is this beautiful... I'm showing it to you guys the wrong way. It is this beautiful sort of Buddha that's lying down. It's on a stand and I fell in love with it. I thought it was perfect. My mom was so on point with this. The only thing I might do is maybe just sand it down a little bit to bring out a little bit more of the wood and the rusticness to it and maybe add a little bit of whitewash on it to make it look a little bit more antique looking. But when I asked the, the uh, people that were at their stand, I said, how much was it? And they said five dollars i paid this five dollars i mean this was insane i was like done i'm taking it <laughs> so thanks mom <laughs> this was another piece my mom ended up finding i got these two pieces that i'm going to show you guys next at the same stand she had found this really cute simple wood bowl she bought it for herself and when she showed it to me i was like oh i'm like i so would have gotten this so she's like you know what she's like keep it she's like i don't need it it's just a simple wood bowl, but there's so many things you can do with a bowl and put storage in, just use it as a decorative accent piece. And you guys know I have so many shelves and I have so many places that I can put it and use it. I'm not sure how much she paid for it, but I'm sure it was maybe around like $2. This is the next piece here. It's just a simple cutting board. I just thought the shape was really cool. I love the shape. I thought it was perfect to put other cutting boards, you know, do the whole layering of cutting boards. And I also love the raw edge finish here, which I thought was super cool. And just the color of it. This was actually $2. I mean, you can't go wrong, $2. So I got it and I'm so happy I did. Moving on to the accessories. You saw this, um, the next piece that I'm gonna show you. I was, just looking at the girl stand and my eye was drawn to it and it is at this beautiful handbag and it has such a vintage and antique feel to it it's made out of wood which is so cool and then the floral detailing i think it's just perfect for the summertime with a cute dress there was something about it i asked her how much it was and she told me five dollars i was like yes it's mine <laughs> yeah, i thought it was just such a cute little handbag and i'm glad i got it that was this piece. Then you also saw me go to this place where this man was selling sort of crystals and fossils, just different beautiful pieces. I ended up getting this necklace that I'm wearing right now. There was just something that I was drawn to it. It's not the most spectacular necklace, 
but I don't know I was drawn to it and I had to get it I'm so happy I did I just think it's a very neutral piece and if you don't want to wear a rope here you can totally put a silver necklace to give it a different look but I don't mind the rope so I am so happy I got it so this was ten dollars that was it for the whole flea market and now we're gonna move on to the antique boutique when I went in there actually not when I went in there before I got into the doors there was a chair and I was eyeing that chair. I was like, oh my gosh, because I am looking for chairs to put in the dining area since I told you that I'm revamping it. I'm looking for particular chairs. And when I saw that chair, I was like, oh my gosh, it is perfect, but there's only one. So I walked into the store and everything was just beautiful. It was everything that I love. My mom was so on point with this. She knew I was gonna love it and I definitely loved it. It had a mix of antique, mid-century, of new, of boho, of handmade, pieces i was doing the whole turn of the store and i immediately spotted another chair that was very similar to the one outside except it was a different shade and it had a different shape to it but i was like perfect i have a pair and they are perfect for the dining area they were 75 dollars, which is so good for uh, antique chairs the man that was working there his wife her supposedly her dad is the one who handmade these so you guys know how i feel about things that are handmade they make them all the more special to me they're just unique pieces one of a kind i just think that they're beautiful the quality is beautiful the attention to detail they're quality they're not cheap chairs you know and 75 dollars is such a steal if you guys are living in the montreal area and you're looking for antique pieces and just unique pieces you guys should definitely go and check them out i mean there's so many cool pieces there that's pretty much it that is everything that i got for this haul i hope you enjoyed it just comment down below let me know which piece was your favorite and um of course i'm gonna say it again thank you so much for watching it means the world to me i love you guys so much have an amazing day Mwah.